I'm Jessica. And I'm Miley. And we are um, Miley, Miley Maybe Do It. Do it. <laughs> hey ladies, this is your girl Jessica with Miley Made Me Do It and I'm here with a new video for you guys. So, if you have not subscribed yet, please click that subscribe button and click the notification bell so then you can get notified every time I put up a new video. So, I am going to be sewing the Little Lizard King new pattern, the Helmonton, Helmon, Helmon, Helmonton. Jeez Louise, how, that took me forever. Helmonton, I did it that time. All right, new pattern, okay? Let me just tell you about this pattern. So the Helmonton pattern, it is made with knit. It has a drop down waist, um, waist dress, okay? Um, it includes a simple gather skirt with an optional um, hem band and a sleeve option, which can be, and they also have hem bands too, which, which can be um, short sleeve, long sleeve, Three quarter length sleeve, a whole bunch of sleeves. So if you're going to be doing this so long, today would be the best day for you um, to print and print your pattern pieces out, um, assemble them together, and pick your fabrics. Okay, pick your fabrics, and also if you want to get real fancy, fancy, you go ahead and print off the options here. Um, when you get, go to the pattern, you'll see where you have the different options. So I'm going to just tell you which option, the option that I am going to be doing today. Well, I'm going to be making the Hamilton dress. Um, I have my front bodice, back bodice, both cut on the fold. All you need is one. Here are my skirt pieces. You're going to have two. Um, I'm going to do the three quarter length um, sleeve with the band. Here's my band, you're gonna need two of those, and with the neck band, okay? Today, we are going to be constructing our bodice. So we're gonna take our back bodice piece, which was cut on the fold, right side up, and take your front. We're gonna put these babies together, right sides together, and we're going to be pinning. If you don't like to pin, you don't have to, you know. This is for my, my, my beginners that like to make sure they uh, have everything lined up, okay? So we're gonna pin the shoulder seam. And we're gonna pin your side seams, okay? You can take this to your sewing machine and you're gonna sew a 3 8 inch seam allowance, if I'm not mistaken, make sure. Mm. Yep, that's it. A 3 8 inch seam allowance, okay? So we got the, got the um, shoulder seam. Now, let's get our side seams pinned. Oh, and using a stretch stitch, okay? Don't don't go using none of them straight stitches, baby, because you stretch it. You anytime you put it over your head, it's gonna pop, you know. And and yeah, y'all, like I said, we work too hard. So yeah. Mm. I mean, this pattern seems like it's gonna be so quick, simple, easy, and I love it. Gonna make a whole bunch of these. All right, so now, today we're, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna take this to our machine and we're gonna sew a 3 8 inch seam allowance to on the um, shoulder seams and both the side seams, okay? And we're gonna to attach it. And I will be back. Okay, so now I have my neck band, and my neck band um, sewn on the short seam. And now we're just going to take our neck band and we're going to fold it in half. Well, not fold it in half, but have the wrong size touching. Okay? Just like that. All right, and let's quarter it off, okay? So let's quarter off our neck band. Because we know this right here is the back, I'm going to put a pin there. Or if you have any of those little clips, you can do that. Whatever your heart desire. Okay, there's one side. And then I have my, find this side here. All right, and then we're gonna put those two pins together. Let those two meet and pin. Just like this. Okay, so I have those 
I have the neck band quartered off. Now I'm gonna put this to the side and I'm gonna bring back in my my bodice. Well my yeah, my top, my bodice. Okay, so all right, so I'll bring in your bodice, and this is on the wrong side. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take it and I'm going to fold it in half, meet matching the side seams and the shoulder seams here. And I'm just going to take my my little marking, my little pen here, and I'm going to mark the center of the front. And since this is dark, I'm going to take this in and mark the center of the back. Okay, and then I'm gonna open back up. I'm gonna match my center front to my center back here. And I'm just going to just flatten that out to make it even. Okay, and this is how you quarter off your neck band. There's on the other side. Make it all flat. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Bam, just like that. All right, so that is quartered off. All right, so now let's attach our neck band to our top. Turn your, your bodice right side out. Just like this. I like to start in the back. So I'm gonna turn, turn to the, I'm gonna go, just, just have it like that, okay? So I like to start in the back, and what I'll do is I'm gonna take my neck band, and with right sides together, I'll flip it like that, turn this right. And I'm just going to match right sides together touching, just like that, and I'm going to pin with those raw ends touching also, if you can see that, see? The raw ends touching. Find my marking. Where are you? There you go. And I'm gonna take it. And I'm gonna, there, but let me make sure I get my neck band matching. The same. So when I sew it all up in now. Okay, get up here to the side here. There's my mark. Right side together. And And then the front. All right, just like that. Now, what you'll do is, is you're gonna take it, take your, your two pins here that you have, and you're gonna stretch it a little bit. And pin. To the next side. Stretch. And pin. Okay. All right, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our neck band to the sewing machine and we're going to sew. Let me give you the seam allowance for this. All right, and we're gonna also use that same um, method, the same seam allowance, so three eighth inch seam allowance to attach. And then you can take this to, take it and you can top stitch, okay? When you're done so that you can, you know, your serge ends, you can just top stitch it with a long stretch stitch of one of a one eighth inch. So long one eighth inch stitch, stretch stitch. That's if you want to. If you don't want to, you ain't got to, but make it long, okay? <laughs> so I'm gonna do that and then I'll be back. Okay, so I have my my bodice, well my neck band sewn. I have not um what I haven't done. 
I have not topped this yet, so I'm going to do that. So that's probably the reason why I look a little wonky. So that's done. Now let's move on to our sleeves. Okay, so now bring in our um, sleeves here. And what you're going to do, we're going to take our sleeves. We're going to separate them. We're going to put them right sides together. And we're going to pin. And if you're not going to use the use the hem, um, the 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 band, you can still hem with the heat and bun. Like it's super. I love this stuff. Save my life. Not really. Save my save my uh my clothes. <laughs> All right, and it also helps like the waviness. Sometimes, you know, when you're trying to sew a knit and stuff, your, your stuff get wavy because of the tension and you just really can't get it together. So yeah, the heating bun is lit. All right, so we're gonna take this to our machine and we're going to sew um, a straight stitch along this edge here because we've already, you know, we went ahead of ourselves. We already did this since we were at the sewing machine. We've already did our band. So let's go sew. And then we'll be back. I'll be back. All right, so bring your sleeves back in. And we're going to attach our, we're going to attach our bands here. So grab your bands. We're gonna pull it, turn it right side out. Make sure it's even. All righty. Just like that. And let's attach our band. So with right sides together, I'm going to find my seam and match that up with the seam on my on my sleeves. Okay. We're gonna do the same step for the other one. Match our seams and we're gonna pin. Alright. So we're gonna take this to our machine and we're gonna sew a 3 8 inch seam allowance to attach. And then I'll show you what that looks like when I get back. Okay, so I got my sleeves, all uh, my back, my, um, what the thing called? The band attached. Now this is something a little, a little something I wanna show you. Now I have uh, this needle here. Um, it has like a really, really big hole. I don't know if you can probably see that, but it has, I can't remember the name of it. It's like a tapery or something type of needle. Um, I like to, instead of me just cutting it off and then let it ravel, I just like to thread it because it has that big eye, the little hole in it like that. And I like to thread it and then just put it and, you know, just, just put it much, sew it back into the garment. Like that. And then I'll cut it. See? So then it won't be all over the place. So check that out. Um, I, I can't remember the name of it. Hopefully, by the time I get, I figure it out. I'll tell y'all, but it's at Walmart. It's like a little, you just take it and put it in a boop, boop, boop. So then, you thread it back in. All right, cool. Okay. Make sure I don't lose that because that's like my fave. Okay, so now just take my your band, your, uh, band, pull it out, which is super cute. You can go ahead and iron it if you want to. I'm not. I'll do that later. Because I'm in the middle of a sew along, baby. Okay, so I got those babies together. Hold on. So let's grab, get our sleeves. We're going to put it where it's even. Just like that. Grab your marking, your little pen, and we're going to mark the center here. On both of them. I'm gonna make so many of these dang on thing. I'm telling y'all. Y'all just watch. I'm gonna tell y'all later. Show sure, yeah. you. Cause this is too cute. All right. So let's do that. Now I'm gonna put my sleeves on. So I reason why I did that marking because I wanted to find the center. So that center here can touch my sleeves, I mean my uh, shoulder seam. Then I'll go down here to the side seam, hit that. Okay. 
like that. And then work my way all around. All right, so now let's take this to our machine and we're gonna sew our, both our sleeves on using a 3 8 inch seam allowance. And then I'll show you what it looks like when I get All right, so our sleeves are attached, which is really, really cool. Okay, so now let's, let's um, construct our skirt. So what we're going to do, we're going to take our two skirt pieces and we're going to put them right sides together. Just like this. And we're going to connect them at our side seams here. Pin. And we're going to um, do this also for the other side and we're going to use a stretch stitch. Seam allowance for a 3 8 inch. So that's one side. Let's go up here to this other side. You can go ahead and hem and gather when you're done. Um, You can go ahead and, so what I'm gonna do off camera, I am going to hem the bottom of my, um, of my, my skirt piece with my um, heat and bun, soft and stretch. I always use ultra, I don't like the light one because the tape always come off, like it separates from this little white part here. The adhesive always separates, so I don't like that one. I always just get the ultra. And then I will um, hem the bottom. I will also take this to my sewing my sew machine and I will do a gathering stitch. Um, and then I will be back. Okay, so I have my skirt here. I've already went ahead and hemmed and gathered the top of my skirt. Um, now bring in your bodice. And with right sides together, I'm gonna turn my turn this right side, wrong side out, just like this. And right sides together, I'm gonna take my my top here. And I'm gonna put it in. Okay. I'm gonna match my side seams first. All right, just like this. And now I am going to gather my skirt piece to match the width of my top. Back out because I see where the pattern tells you that it's optional, but if you would like to use um, elastic, the el clear elastic tape for your hem, you can. So let's, I'm gonna show you what, what I what I did one day. Okay, for the people that probably really don't too much care for using the elastic hem, which I mean, I can do it. Hold on, because I get a lot of questions about this each time I do a sew along, and I don't do, I don't use, I don't do the sew along like I, I mean, I mean, I told you, I'm, I'm a wild child. Do what I feel when I feel like it. Okay, so here is, they're talking about adding the elastic to the waistband, okay? And this right here helps to keep the garment like from stretching over time. Um, let's see. I'm gonna show you what I, what I have done before if y'all don't have the, the clear elastic, okay? So if you don't have the clear elastic, that is fine, all right? All right, this is what I do, okay? So you can do whatever that works for you, okay? All right? Do you. I'm gonna say it one more time. Do you. <laughs> but if you don't have elastic, I'm gonna show you what I do with this hem tape. So I got the hem tape here, right? And the hem tape already, it, like, it has the instructions on it on how you need to use it. Okay, okay so I'm gonna put this hem tape on the wrong side of my bodice. 
on the edge here, just like this. Boom. Turn it around. Hit the side. Because, I mean, to be honest with you, all y'all trying to do is keep stability, right? I mean, yeah. So, we're going to... Alright. Cut this off. Just like that. Put this to the side. Alright. Going to let it cool down. Alright. Let's take... I'm going to take this hem tape off. Because it's cool. Alright, just like that. Alright, now, since it's cool, I feel like this right here is some good stability right there, right? Now, turn, put this out of the way. Okay, now, what I'm going to do is attach my skirt. Okay, now let's take this to our sewing machine. We're gonna sew a um, a three eight inch seam allowance using your stretch stitch, and I'll be back. Okay, so we are done. Like I'm gonna say almost done. And the reason why is because because I use the hem tape to for for like my little stabilizer for my it was substitute for the the elastic thing here. So what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bring in my iron. Okay. I'm gonna pretty much use it like you know how you would hint anything else. So bring in my iron real quick. And now, because I use that hem tape, I'm gonna make sure. Matter of fact, I'm gonna turn it, turn this right side out. Wrong. Right, right, wrong side out. Wrong side out, yeah. Alright, so look. You probably can't see it, but the, the hem tape is, is here. That's the hem tape that I use, okay? So what I'm going to do is stretch. No, I ain't going to say stretch it out because I don't want to confuse you. But, like, make sure that's good. Turn on my steam. And I've got it upward, you see. I got my, my seam pressed upward there. Make sure everything is all together. I don't have any water here, but just put it on there like that. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to like bond it. Going to bond that together where it's supposed to if I had some water here. Hold on, y'all. Let me get you some water first. All right, got some steam. Give me some steam going. Oh, yeah. Now, take it and I'm just going to steam it. Just hit it like that. All right. Turn it over a little bit because it's, it's not sticking just yet. But I want to make sure it's getting hot. Here. Just like that. Come on, baby. Steam it up for, for my people. Alright, so I got that right side and wrong side out. Now let's turn it right side out. I'm going to do it again. Make sure everything is turned, flipped up, and hit it again. Oh yeah. Turn it around. Hey, Ma. Hey, Ma. Hey, baby. Hey. What you up to, Well, I'm doing this YouTube video real quick. Yeah, I'm almost done. I'm, 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 I'm putting my, I'm showing them what I do when I hem. You doing, you doing your sewing? Yeah, I'm doing a little video real quick. What? But I'm gonna call. I'm, I'm almost done. I call you right back. Okay. All right. So now I'm just gonna hit, put that steam right here on that neck band. Oh yeah, look at that. Well, almost. Come on now. Boom. Let's steam 
this if you want to do that. I guess I got the steam and I might as well go on steam everything, huh? Go on steam it. All right. So, now look at that. And you see, I didn't even use this stuff. The, um, the elastic. I'm going to tell you the reason why. What, what made me think about it. Um, so, I had to make a lot of dresses. And I needed some elastic but I didn't want to like wait I didn't want to wait two days I needed it right then because I was on the roll so I didn't want to wait two days to get the clear elastic so I was like you know what let me try let me try this hem tape the heat and bun hem tape and see if that'll work and because I mean it's pretty much for stability I mean we use the hem you know use it for the hem tape so then if you're for stability so why not and look at that like if you can see it like it's not all stretchable it's just really nice and neat and then it still look good after i washed it so yeah y'all so okay check this out so we are done we are done let me tell y'all again like i appreciate you guys so much for sewing with me this is the little 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 little, little, little. Boom. okay this is the little lizard king hamilton this is new just dropped do you hear me? Like now I got to get my little pictures in this so then y'all can see how lit this dress is. It's super simple, super easy. Like I'm telling you, you can get this thing done. I don't know. I'm not going to lie to you because, you know, I probably could get it done in maybe like maybe 45 minutes. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. I don't know about y'all. But if you love this video and just love coming to sew with me and just laugh and just have a good time, look, go to look, go, not to little Liz, go. I'm going to have this in the description box for y'all, <laughs> the pattern, but go to my um, Miley Made Me Do It YouTube channel. I have so many of Little Lizzie King patterns there, and like, I want to help y'all out. So, now I got to get pictures in this. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Hey to all of my, my sew along ladies. Whoop whoop. I appreciate y'all coming and sew with me. I work during the day, so I'm a full time. I work full time during the day, so I like to already just go ahead and pre do my videos for you guys. So then, you know, y'all won't have to wait on me to get off to sew with y'all. So <laughs> thank you so much. Y'all have a good week and see ya.